All right, this is Derek Overby with 100 Interviews. We are here with the incomparable Ted Murphy. Incomparable! <laughs> how you doing, man? I'm doing great. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm going to make you work with that hand. No, I'm all good. I'm all good. I'm all good. How's your South by been going so far? It's been going awesome. I've been meeting a ton of new people that I hadn't met before or people that I had, I thought I knew them. You know, I followed them online, and then I met them in person. They were even more awesome. So oh, that's great. I hate when it goes the other way around. When they're, when they're much yeah. more crappy. Oh, yeah. Online. You're like, oh, I follow you online. You're so interesting. And you meet them, and they're like, ugh, <laughs> don't talk to me. <laughs> so what so, have you been up to, man? I, uh, I've just been keeping busy. You know, I, I, uh, Isaiah keeps me super busy, and uh, we've been doing a lot of great stuff recently. been working with a lot of pretty big name, um, you know, bloggers and social media people. And right. Why don't you give us the background on it because there might be some people out there not familiar. So Isia, uh, basically our entire company exists to connect advertisers and bloggers. Um, so we essentially compensate bloggers, whether that be in cash, gift cards, product, whatever it may be. We connect them with advertisers and we help advertisers get the word out about their products. That's great. And, and what's the success rate been? Success rate's been pretty awesome. We've got about 265,000 bloggers in our network now. Uh, and just over 25,000 advertisers, so it's been blowing up. I would say in the last six months, um, it's it's been even stronger. So you guys have been on an upswing, even though the economy's been kind of uh, hurt a little bit. I, I think actually the up the economy going south a little bit has has helped us um, because people were like, well, you know, this blogging stuff was fun for a while, and oh, you know, my husband just lost his job, or my wife just lost his job, or I just lost my job. Right. What am I going to do to to make ends meet? And so. You know, being able to put some cash in people's pockets and, uh, you know, either help them get through the tough times with their blog or turn that into a business on its own. Um, you know, I, I love to be, be able to be a part of that. That's awesome. Um, so we were talking a little bit before about where the whole 100 Interviews concept came about. And yep. we really wanted to get to the inside of kind of the mover and shakers within the social media arena. <laughs> I don't know if you a, consider yourself a mover to shaker. I'm more of a shaker. <laughs> yeah, Chris. Chris <laughs> Chris Morgan, uh, he uh, gave me a hard time with that. He, he threw out probably 100 cliches after I said that. But yeah. uh, <laughs> what we really want to understand is from your perspective, how are you using social media in your daily lives to stay connected to friends, family, and also promote your business? It is, you know, it's pretty much taken over my, my entire life. Uh, I, what's really weird is I signed up for Twitter, um, in, I would say in the pretty early days. I think I've been on there for like two and a half or three years. And... Uh, I, I didn't really get into it at first. I was like, oh my God, what is this? Like, like do people want to listen to me talking about the fact <laughs> that I went to get a coffee? Like, is that really interesting? Is, are people going to like that? And uh, I actually, I was in New Orleans and I, I was speaking at an event and I went out that night and I was jumped and, uh, you know, had the crap beat out of me. You know, my face was all bloody. They took my, they took my phone. They took my wallet. They took everything. And I... I came back to my room and the doctor told me I couldn't go to sleep because they yeah, thought I had a concussion. A, had a concussion. And um, you know, I got on Twitter and I was I started posting photos of me like totally like it was um, scary. You know, you know, it was like my I know Rihanna I saw moment. I saw those photos. It was my was Rihanna like, moment. Yeah, yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> we never found your Chris Brown. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I never found my Chris Brown. Yeah, uh, that's a whole other thing, but. Um, it was really weird. Like from that from that moment, I felt like I really started to, to get a, gain a connection with people. And I, when I got back to my office, I had like cookies and cards and flowers and all this stuff from all all people that were knew about me, not from like a personal perspective, but all just knew me on Twitter, like right. just from from this one day. It's amazing how this community kind of rallies the troops. Yeah, to, it was to... it was really incredible. And so that from that point forward, I was I was just like hooked. Uh, really created a bunch of great relationships from, from that one one day. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, how you, how are you using it to stay connected with your your family now? I, I think that's very interesting. That a lot of moms and dads and yeah. grandparents are getting on. It's it's interesting. My um my my dad is on Twitter. My mom is not on Twitter. My dad has only used Twitter a couple times. He's still not like ready to jump into the the. Uh, the whole Twitter thing, but they're both on Facebook, oh, okay. um, which is which is interesting. Um, I think that they like the picture aspect of, of Facebook a little bit more than than the you know just straight. Text do you find Twitter. yourself maybe connecting with them quicker through a social media outlet than you do like say a phone or? You know what's interesting is you know I have 
not necessarily my parents, but my, my sister's on Twitter and my, my older brother's on Twitter. And, you know, we used to, my, my brother especially, we probably only used to talk about once a month. And now we, we're talking all the time. And it's, it's been great, you know, because I, I, he doesn't live near me. Um, and he's got a wife and kids. And, you know, he, he's got his own world and I got my own world. But now we're able to kind of connect in a different way because everything can everything doesn't necessarily have to be real time exactly um, that's what I, I mean I have the same situation my brother's the same yeah scenario so, so it's been it's been really cool and actually as a result of that we are now we're doing more things offline together than than we were before so it was like our online connection has made our you know our relationship stronger now um, offline all right well that's some great information <laughs> when do you uh, close up this interview with uh, maybe a little funny story you might have a little funny story <laughs> about social media <laughs> i oh gosh are there just too many is the brain just kind of going <laughs> there, crazy right now see i the problem is, is that i share a lot of things that i probably shouldn't share <laughs> and uh well, we won't use uh, the, the the names will be uh withheld am, for their own protection <laughs> I'm not, I'm not sure I feel comfortable sharing any, any – like, when these things happen, they just kind of happen, and I hope that they just go away. Okay. They're well, indexed out there. You uh, can find them. Okay. We, we'll you we'll go search for them. find them. Well, then we'll go a little more traditional. So where do you think this whole thing is going to play out um, next two, three years? Um, you know, probably from a selfish perspective, I think that uh, the next two or three years are going to be about how do you make money doing this? You know, I – meet people all the time that have blogs and they're big on Twitter and I've got X amount of followers and X amount of traffic. It's like, great, are you making money? Yeah. Like, are how are you going to monetize how it? How are you monetizing that? Um, and that's kind of been our focus since the beginning. And at first it was kind of taboo to even talk about monetization. People were like, blogging is pure and it's about <laughs> expression of yourself and sharing your feelings. But, you know, <laughs> Maybe in the beginning it was that, uh, but it, the, the truth is, is if it re was really that, then you wouldn't be doing it publicly, right? right? You'd be putting it in a journal somewhere. Um, and so I, I think that for, for a lot of people, there's some opportunities out there to make some money, and um, I think that we're going to see lots of really interesting companies sprout out that, that show people how to do that. Uh, yeah, I, I agree with you. Couldn't, couldn't agree more. So, Ted, we uh, be really, really glad to have you. <laughs> Glad to have you for under. I'm having. I I can't wait to see this. I can't wait yeah. to look at all these things. Yeah, it's they're going to be, be awesome. great. We've gotten some great ones. We're, we're really glad to have you in the mix. <laughs> does my head look weird? It does. Is it it looks like a uh, looks like a red. Uh, this is the first time I've worn this hat. So. <laughs> well, we have it live on video. So. <laughs> glad you're here. I hope you enjoy. I know you're you're taking off. Wish you could uh, party with us tonight. Yeah, but, uh, I know. I'm know. a lightweight these days. I can't hang out like that anymore. Well, the Driscoll <laughs> went off last night, so it's all good. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Thank you.